welcome to Engam IAS. I am Teresa George. Today we are going to discuss about corals. Corals are important for GS1 prelims as well as GS1 mains and GS3 mains. Corals consist of both algae and tissues of animal polyp. Corals live in tropical and subtropical oceans and seas and the conditions required for the coral growth are Sea surface temperature should be 20 to 32 degrees Celsius in, that's in the range temperature required and it requires sunlight because uh, corals depends on depends on algae for food and the algae produces food through photosynthesis that's why they require sunlight for their growth and it requires salinity 32 to 34 parts per thousand salinity is required for the coral growth significance Corals or coral reef help to remove carbon dioxide which is a greenhouse gas and it helps to protect the shore from erosion. And coral reef is a home to above 4000 varieties of fishes. Coral reefs are seen in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Gulf of Manna, Lakshadweep Islands and Gulf of Kutch in India. Why coral reefs in news today? Because to, uh, today scientists have discovered four new exosanthalate corals from Indian Ocean that is from Indian waters for the first time. These new corals were found from the waters of Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the four new corals are Truncato flabellum crassum, Truncato flabellum incrustatum, Truncato flabellum aculatum, Truncato flabellum irregulari. Characteristics of newly found corals. These corals belong to the family Flabellidae and these four corals are no reef building corals. For instance, in uh, our Lakshadweep Islands, these are coral islands and an atoll. In India, we were having uh, reef building corals. That's the best example is Lakshadweep Island, which is a coral island. These four corals were found earlier in waters from Japan, that to Philippines, that to Australian water, east of India. And the west of India, it was only seen in uh, the species Trincocatoflabellum crassum were, were the only species of coral that is seen in the west of India. That is in the Gulf of Aden and the, and the Persian Gulf. And these are hard corals. That, that means it is made up of calcium carbonate structures and it lives on solitary. That, is, that means it lives, on, uh, it lives alone. And the uh, corals can be divided into zoosandalate corals and esosandalate corals. Zoosandalate corals means that they contain zoosandalate. Zoosandalate is a tiny algae. And the corals depends on the zoosandalate for food. Zoosandalate prepare food by through photosynthesis. This is the specialty of zoosandalate algae. Esosandalate corals, they do not contain zoosandalate. That is, the photosynthetic brown algae is absent in their structure. They depends on planktons. Planktons are microorganisms that is found in the under ocean, and uh, they depend on these planktons for food. And the uh, zooxanthellate so so corals derive nutrition from the sun. As I explained earlier, uh, they depends on algae which require sunlight for photosynthesis. As zooxanthellate corals. It depends on marine organisms like plankton. That's why they do not require the sun. So, sandalite corals, since they require sunlight for photosynthesis, they live in shallow waters. Whereas, so sandalite corals, since they depend on microorganisms like plankton for food, they live in deep sea. Then, the important organization that was in news was Zoological Survey of India, established in 1st July 1916 and its headquarters in Kolkata and it has 16 regional centers. The primary objectives of Zoological Survey of India's, India are preparation of red data book, fauna of India, fauna of states, biological studies on important communities and species, maintenance and development of national zoological collections, preparation of a database for the recorded species of the country. These are some of the primary objectives of Zoological Survey of India. Then we have a model questions. 
with reference to the newly recorded corals by Zoological Survey of India, which of the following statements are correct? First statement, they are the first recorded species of SO Susandalite corals from Indian waters. They are solitary in nature with a highly compressed skeletal structures. These new corals belong to the same family, Flabellida. The fourth statement, these are non reef building corals. Select the correct answers using the code given below. Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2, 3 and 4 only. Option C, 1 and 4 only. Option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is all of the above. Please try to solve these model questions and comment your answer in the comment section. The detailed answer will be available in our telegram channel and the notes will be available in the telegram channel. The telegram channel's link will be provided in the description box given below. Hope this session was useful for everyone. If you have any queries and doubts, please free to write in the comment box. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.